If you want to make more money, <laughs> spill Pepsi on babies. Hi there, everyone. So today I'm here with my friend Emma Blackery. Hi. And we have one similarity besides being exactly the same height, and that's we both used to be waiters back in the day. However, I was a server in the US for five years. How long were you the, a server in the UK? Um, since I oh, must have been about three or four years. So okay. we've got a lot of fun experience, and today oh, yeah. I think it'd be cool to talk about the differences between not only customers, but waiters and waitresses in the UK. In I the think US. there's going to be a lot more similarities than we think. I don't know. I, first off, I mean obviously US servers are better because we get paid in tips. Yeah. So you it's kind of like, you, you we're sucking to up to, to people. Yeah. yeah. It's like, please, uh, at, in New Jersey, the legal serving wage was two thirteen an hour, and so with taxes, that's less than a dollar an hour. Uh, or way less than I a pound. I still don't get how that's legal. Well, uh, that still weirds me out. That so that's... I made a lot in tips. Uh, the goal was to make about $5 in tips an hour, which is at pizza places that I worked at because it's so cheap, maybe one or two tables. Really? Yeah. Huh. So Because Jeez. no one tips at cheap pizza places, no matter how mm. much you smile. Really? Yeah. I, I honestly thought like, you know, in America, like you're, you, just, you feel so obliged to tip. At know? nice places. Oh, I, I, I think I told you the story once. I had a waitress in America. We were mm. at this like steakhouse. This is like a few years ago. And yeah. there was this, it was like, there was like 10 of us on this table. Was um, I there? I think you might have been I there. I was there. Were you there? Yeah. And that woman forced us to She was to pretty bad. Tip? Yeah, and you were really upset. Legally, you do not have to pay the tip. But like, she wouldn't let us go until it, she went, she was like, yeah, you're $5 short. And we were like, no, we're not. If it says gratuity on the bottom, legally, you can stand there. They can call the cops and then the cops will let you go because you don't have to pay gratuity. It's just a big dick move because that's their living wage. It makes sense, but it shouldn't be their living wage. They should get paid True. by their employer like, properly. In California, for instance, the server wage is the same as the minimum wage. So people make eight dollars an hour plus tip, which to me is like that's, living the high life. Yeah, that's great. Money, money, money. Make in, it rain. In England, though, you guys don't make any money tips. I've no, never tipped because, in England because we feel like we don't have. Well, you don't tip at all. I've never tipped in England. You monster. What? <laughs> you monster. I was told you're not supposed to tip. That's not true. You're supposed to tip like 10% I would tip politely. if they were good. Every time I've ever had food at Nando's or Pizza Express or any restaurant in London, I could sit there for maybe, I could probably sleep over because no one will give me the check unless I ask for it. In America, I constantly am talked to like, is everything okay? Is everything good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then after I'm done eating, okay, do you guys want coffee or do you want the bill? Yeah. Done. Then I can go because in America, we got things to do in England. They're just yeah, like, we oh, like, we'll sit around, get a beer. We like mates. leaving people alone. We don't like bugging people <laughs> You don't people like talking to people. No, we don't like bugging people while they're eating. That I'm really not eating now. America. I've been sitting here waiting for a check. I just want to go home. It really bugs me like in restaurants when I'm, I've got a mouthful of food and they come over and they check to see if everything's okay. I get why. I totally get why they're checking because they want to make sure your food's warm and it's cooked nicely. For me, the rule is time. after a first bite, you ask, how is everything? Good. Do you need refills? And because you know free refills, and so that's what it is in the U.S. And I was I always good. Always choose when I have the biggest mouthful, or when I'm halfway through. We do a that because it's funny. And I'm like, oh, oh. oh. You know who never tips in America. Who? Canadians. What? Who cares about Canadians? Don't. Well, well. First off, what? Oh, hi there. I'm from Canada, and I'm not gonna give you any money at your table because I like Montreal and maple leaves. It's annoying, but they would always come for summer to Atlantic City, New Jersey, and they'd stop off in little towns in New Jersey, and they'd be like, ha ha ha, no money for you. It's so weird that you guys tip, eh? Blame that Canada. That, that was, was awful. That was, that was so bad. <laughs> what is the worst table you've ever had? Um, one time I was, um, when I worked in the cafe that I was at for two years, I had a woman with her baby and another toddler. This toddler's making a mess, this woman's just baby's like, you know. Frick. Baby, yeah. yeah. First off, right, that's bad enough. The baby's screaming, when making a mess, cereal, the toddler's and then there's just everywhere. Pfft, every, oh. She then changed the baby's diaper on the table. Sanitary! On oh. the table. Oh. And she that's left. Shit. The folded up nappy diaper, whatever you want to call it, Ugh. on the table in a restaurant. Did you well, want to die per but... usual? Die. No, but I wanted to take a nap. Hey. <laughs> People with babies made the biggest messes because they usually brought those little cereal or food things those and the babies just throw things, them everywhere. Yeah. And then they would leave the lowest tip as well, unless mm. I spilled a drink on their baby. What? Somehow. I don't know how, but in the four times I've spilled drinks on babies. Every four time. times. <laughs> I'm a clumsy Once guy. It's an accident. <laughs> so 
Twice, twice is a coincidence. Three times is he's making money off it. <laughs> no, like if every time I spilled a drink on a baby, it'd be shit because it'd be like Pepsi all over, sticky all over the baby. And they're like, I'm like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. And they'd be like, it's okay. Oh, he must be having a really bad day. Let's give him lots of money. If you want to make more money, <laughs> spill Pepsi on babies. One time I was spinning a marinara sauce on like a tray and it flew off and landed on one of the girls at my table's Uggs that she had just bought that day. Oh my God. And they hadn't been sprayed and so they were ruined. Oh my God. And she told my manager and he just went, Evan, stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Most managers will side with the service. I honestly then... had more nice customers than I had mean customers though. Oh really? Yeah. See, that's kind of the opposite in, in the UK. People in the always UK... say that it sucks to be retail because there's so many dicks. And I always had nice people. Well, you're very lucky because like in, in the UK, people like being left alone. But if yeah. it's in your job where you have to go up to them and be like, what are you looking for? They don't like it. I had they to do really that. Don't I like worked it. at Urban Outfitters in yeah. Oxford Street, and I just remember I was the only worker that would ever talk to people. Yeah. Which was I was told to do that, but British people, I guess, that work were just like, oh, I know what that means. It means look really like kind of dismissive and angry. Yeah, we just don't. And we, then we absolutely do like not. I've never gone to that store again and been greeted, but I'm you're supposed to. But when I was there, I was like, welcome to Urban Outfitters. I'm Evan Adinger. <laughs> Check me out on Twitter, I verify! I've got my Twitter right here! And it's like stained <laughs> on my shirt. I liked working there because, I don't know, I, got, I like working retail. You get to meet more people. And I, how many phone numbers did you get working in a retail? I didn't I, ask for any. No, no, I never asked for any, I just got you them. You just got them? I got lots of phone numbers Holy as tips. Geez. Yeah. What? I, um, one time I had a table of girls that came in and I was flirting with them but I, just for you know a bigger tip, because you flirt for tips. And then one of my other waitresses was like, hey Evan, your girlfriend Sarah's on the phone. And I was so embarrassed that I just like ran off. And she wasn't on the phone, like that was just to mess with me. <laughs> and then when the girls left, they left me a long napkin that said, hey Evan, tell your fake girlfriend Sarah we said hello. The phone never rang. Each of the numbers, all four of them. Oh my God. I ended up calling one of them a year later after I was single. A year later? <laughs> A year, you waited a year. Yeah. Did they remember you? Yeah. They did. I can't forget that amazing pizza experience that I can deliver. Did, did it work out? We went on a date. She wasn't right for me. Ah, oh, that's a shame. But I mean, you just ladies, man, picking up numbers as tips. One of them I got had a number on it, and it said, "If you're into smoking fat joints and DTF," and I went to my manager, "What's DTF mean?" Oh. Downloading the files, and he went, "Oh, oh, Evan." <laughs> Oh, Evan. <laughs> Down to fuck. <laughs> so I used to get hit on, and I just, because of the way I am, didn't do anything. Just downloading the files. <laughs> Yo, girl, I'm downloading the files. Yo, Evan, <clears> are, you, uh, <throat> are you DTF? Yeah, man. Are you more of a Pirate Bay or a LimeWire kind of guy? All about LimeWire. Do you ever, like, screwed up an order? All the time, but the thing is, you just get to blame most of it all the time on the cook. On the cook, yeah. Like, like, oh, did you say you wanted pepperoni? Dang it, I had, like, left pizza no beef or whatever oh. <laughs> so i'm so sorry and i'll just go back and then i'll be like i'll personally make a few and for me i liked cooking so that was an excuse for me to make it. sorry cooks uh someone made a mistake they want me to make it uh and wow. depending on the manager i was allowed to do that and therefore i'd be able to yo i put a little extra pepperoni on it for just for you i try to get that tip any way i can that man extra pepperoni that's right and dude. that's how you got the numbers <laughs> Yeah. And then they got some extra pepperoni. And then I also used to bring in my ukulele and guitar and I would play songs for yeah, customers. Yeah, I think you said that. You used to... Uh, that's weird. Uh, I would not want to go... I would honestly... Mm -hmm. If I was given the choice of going to a restaurant where I could just sit down and eat my meal, or going to a restaurant where a guy would just play ukulele as I was eating, I would not choose that one. Evan. Really? No. I, I sang about you as well. It wasn't just singing randomly. I thought you meant about me then. No, I'd walk about around with it and I would sing about the people eating. Like, how's that pepperoni with the mushroom? Do you need a refill? I would not tip you. <laughs> I got a condom as a tip once. What? It said, use this wisely. It was from a group of girls. It came with a number as well. Um, oh, that's slightly... I thought it was just like a dude being nice to you, being like, hey, bro, you, you obviously get some. Here's a... I gave it to my manager. Because I was like, I'm not going to use this. Did you give... Did you give the context? Or... <laughs> oh, I just said I got this as a tip. And he was like, God damn it, Evan. And I was like, hey... I feel like I've told loads of these stories. There was I could probably put it on, but just the tip. Oh my god. Just the tip. <laughs> was that joke con dumb? <laughs> yeah, one time I picked up a syringe with my bare hands. Someone just used it in a, in a toilet in McDonald's just to... 
I had to clean the bathrooms yeah. once and someone had decided it was their time of the month on the walls and the toilet. Maybe it was the first time and they didn't Girls know what was happening. Girls' toilets are grim, right? Men's, you think, oh man, they just pee everywhere. No man, there's a hole and we have a video game in our head. Try and aim it at the toilet. Girls are like, Bloody Mary! <laughs> It's terrible. I have Don't had to ugh. unclog a McDonald's toilet with a gauntlet glove. Oh, don't do this. Up. In conclusion, no matter where you live, servers need to be paid more and need to be treated with respect. That's a really nice roundup. Yeah. I like that. I think, Also, I don't know. give condoms as tips. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you did like it, please give it a big thumbs up below. And also, check out Emma Blackery's channel. Give her a big sub-a-dub-dub. -dub. She's at the one mil a mil a milla. A milla milla milla. Mil -mil and also subscribe to me because I make new videos every Sunday. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye. <laughs>Oh, Hi everyone, so today I'm here with my colorful hair. Everyone, so today I'm here with my only colored hair friend. Hello everyone, so today I'm here with my colored haired friend. Colored hair friend? Just, I don't know, my bright hair friend? Or just maybe use one of my attributes that's not my hair. Nice friend, my talented musician friend. Hello there everyone, today I'm here with my talented musician friend. Hi there everyone, so today I'm here with my friend Emma Blackery, who has brightly colored hair today. Stop!